Welcome to another edition to the Assassin Sports Show and much more guys. Thank you for the love, appreciation you bring each and every day. Y'all the face that run the place. I cannot do this show. Watch out guys. Thank you for likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for your comments. And plus guys, thank you for taking time to watch my videos guys. Y'all been amazing and thank you for all the great comments that y'all bring to the table. Plus guys, if you're passed by the YouTube channel, you like the content, you like the show, hit that subscribe button and become access to their guarantee. Guys, let's talk about Tua and Justin Herbert because I'm getting a lot of feedback and I love it. I love the debate. I love this shit, man. I love it. Y'all think, I mean, fans, first of all, y'all calling me blind. Second of all, y'all talk about my football IQ, right? Um, dude, I've seen football before Patrick Mahomes was coming. I said that's going to be a lead quarterback. That's one. I said it, and I said it again. Before anybody thought Patrick Bohome was anything, I called it. I said Cameron Murray was going to be elite. That's two quarterbacks. I even said Russell Wilson was going to be elite. That's three quarterbacks, right? So y'all talking about, I don't know my stuff. That's three quarterbacks that I called out that was going to be elite, right? That's three. Right? Um, Tannehill. I didn't like the pick. I didn't see anything about Tannehill. I told a lot of fans, I didn't see anything about Tannehill. I say good quarterback, but not what he, he's going to bring you. So I made the right calls. All season long, I was making the right calls. If y'all follow my show, y'all could go back. I said a lot of stuff and I, I'll stick to my guns. So I have a lot of fans ch chatting and commenting the comment section and everything. Listen, before I say anything, thank you for the comments. I really do appreciate it. I love debating. I got my opinion. I got yours. And that's why I'm doing this, this show right now. Um, y'all said a lot of comments came in and they were saying oh do i know about football us um said they go special team my defense is horrible you don't lose one series of the football game right when it's crunch time you have it or you don't you have that clutch gene now you say well he dropped him down but he missed a field goal why he couldn't score a touchdown Oh, he dropped the pass while he couldn't run it in. I saw what y'all saw. He, he had a chance to run it in. He didn't. He stopped and threw it in. Right? Listen. At th those moments, the players believe in you or they don't believe in you. That's the moments. Tua has to clutch in because he... From Arizona, they was down against Arizona, and they, he brought them back. Go watch the game tape. He brought them back, and he won. He won. The, the defense didn't help him out because they were back and forth the whole damn game. So if you go back, if y'all fans, y'all go back to that game. Tua brought them back. They was up. They were back and forth. Arizona took the lead in the third quarter. Two of them brought them back. That's simple. Herbert has not done that. What Herbert is, and I'm going to tell you what. They behind, he has to throw numbers. He throws pretty numbers. He stack up the stats. He's pretty with that. I give him that. But they're not praying for defense. If they're behind, they're praying prevent. So you know it's easy to connect. Look at the defense that Herbert play. They, if, if they're not winning, those defense are praying prevent. That's why he's getting the 300 yards. That's why he's getting that. Because they're praying prevent. Well, we got to pray prevent, and you just got to get your, your stacks in the, the games. That's what he is. He's pretty with that. Tua's praying for a playoff. To make the playoff. 
Purple is not. Right? We got more to lose. Herbert don't have anything to lose. Because his team is not going to make the playoffs. And y'all want to talk about receivers and this and that. Nah, dude. Patrick Mahomes don't ha didn't have a defense in Kansas City. He won games. Russell Wilson doesn't have a great defense. He won games. So before y'all talk that I don't know my stuff, when you elite, you win games. You find a way to win. Doesn't matter. You can't blame it on the kicker because he messed up. It should never got to that point. You can't blame it on, on your defense. It should never got to that point. If you elite, you win games. Patrick Mahomes, elite. When he started the job, came back and came back. Y'all want to blast <clears throat> Tua because you think this kid is elite. He's not elite. He has not won crap. Tua's in a playoff hunt. And I guarantee you his coach will say, listen, we don't need big stats. We just need you to run that, this offense right now like this. Like what they did with, with Russell Wilson. Yeah, if you go back, he has the same numbers as Russell Wilson, Josh Allen, if you look back, he has those numbers. Uh, listen, he could put, yeah, y'all talking about records. Marino, one of the greatest broke records, but never won a ring. Fact. Right? That kid doesn't have the clutch what Marino has. Doesn't. He doesn't have that clutch genes. Y'all yeah, yeah, could talk and hype him up and do all what y'all doing, it doesn't mean crap, dude. Because he is not elite. Y'all want to make him a, a, as an elite player? Fine, y'all could do that. That's your opinion. Y'all allow. Because he has the number. He has the pretty stats. Joe Burrow has the numbers, had the pretty stats, but he couldn't win games. And mind you, Joe Burrow has a better offense than all of them. fact he plays Joe Burrow plays in a harder division than San Diego's because San Diego only got Kansas City the Raiders and everybody else and the Raiders it, and I give the Raiders uh because Raiders are back and forth Chiefs don't have a great defense it's back and forth so he's not playing talented defenses because when he came to Miami he played that talent of the defense guess what he did shrunk at the moment because then Miami played that prevent and he was thinking and dunking to stack up his stats because I'm telling you and Miami played the same kind of listen did y'all see when when Miami defense and San Diego play each other what did what did Justin Herbert do because he didn't do crap for the two the first two quarters. Because if it was not for that fumble, we would have blown your asses out. Fact. Tua outplayed them. Fact. Because if it was not for that fumble, he would have more touchdowns. More touchdowns in that game that, that your boy Justin Herbert would have. That's a fact. So you want to talk about all this and all that? Yes, he's having great stats. I don't give a damn about stats. I care about championships. And I'm telling you, Justin Herbert will not take you to a championship, a Super Bowl ring. Fact. Put it like this, San Diego, San Diego LA, Chargers, whatever. Put it like this. And I'm gonna keep it simple. Y'all had great quarterback. Y'all had Drew Brees. For the Rivers. For the River, way better than this kid. Because he had that clutch gene. Drew Brees had the clutch genes. Y'all let him go. Because what? Because that's what y'all do. 
when y'all see talent, y'all let them go. This kid is not Drew Brees, buddy. Um, it's not Phil Rivers. It's not. Y'all could make him to be. Y'all could wish it. Justin Herbert. He's a Tannehill point two. That's what he is. That's what he's gonna be. I'm sorry to disappoint y'all. Tannehill has good stats. His working his first two years. Fact. So y'all wanna call a lot of things he had. Right? And 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 when Tannehill do a bomb and still Kenny Stills dropped the pass. Oh, he don't have clutch genes. Remember that? Because I remember when the field goal kicker, he put him in, in, in time to win games. He made a great pass to win a game. He missed. But everybody said, well, he don't have the clutch genes. He can't do that. That's a fact. Yeah, I could go all the way back, and that's what people were saying. I don't make this as this stuff up guys just remember good kid good kid he's not a leader of man he's Tannehill ish ish cuz he putting this stacks he's not playing a great uh, against great defense put it like this Denver had to had to scheme Scheme now. Listen up to this. Denver had to scheme away because they couldn't play the same defense. The same defense what they was playing. Because they knew Tua was going to eat them up. That's a fact. Go back and listen to the Denver coach. That's a damn fact. So he's getting everything thrown at him. Just remember it isn't. That's a fact. That's a fact, guys. Now, they scheming for Tua, where he's gonna be, what he's do. They're not scheming for Justin Herbert yet. Cause why? Cause they're playing that prevent. They let them stack up. Cause when somebody, a lot of defense, that's not gonna scheme for that. It's not scheming for Justin Herbert. Like they're scheming for Tua, cause Tua is in a hunt. For the playoffs. Everybody told me I was crazy for putting two that I wanted in the beginning of the season, putting two in. If you go back to my tapes, I'm telling you, my Dolphin fans will say, no, 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 he don't need to be in there. When he they put him in there, the whole team changes. That's what Tuba is. The whole damn team changes. Because the defense, all of a sudden, the defense, the special teams, everything got better when that kid was inserted. That's a fact. Go back and look from week from week three, and then when Tua took over, the whole team got way better when Tua was inserted. That's what a leader does. He might not have big stats, but I know he could, because I saw it in Arizona. He made throws. Not, not, not like a lot of people can make throws. So again, these are facts. So before y'all come after me and, and my IQ of my, my football knowledge, listen man, I've been watching football. I don't know how old are, are y'all, how old. Also people out there are who's commenting. I watch football for a very long time. I watch quarterback play for a very long time. When I said I didn't want a clear lemons, I didn't want a John Beck, I didn't want a Jay Fielder. When I said I didn't want it a lot of quarterbacks that I didn't want Trent Green, I didn't want when I I went to the list, I didn't want none of them. So I know quarterback play. I've seen enough of quarterback play. You have it or you don't. You, you left your team up or you don't. You make everybody better 
around you or you don't. Tua makes everything better to the Dolphins. He had one bad game. And everybody jumping on that. And I love it. You know why? Because that dude, if that dude is watching, everybody hating on him. And I'm telling you, I watched this kid from college. And everybody was hating on him. That dude shows up. If I'm going to war, I'm going to war with Tua, not Herbert. Kid shows up in big moments. Now, unfortunately, they benched him. And I know what he would have done. So again, I say this, before y'all criticize my f football IQ, learn what y'all talking about. Because I know my football IQ. Justin Herbert had a talented team in o Oregon. Didn't do nothing with him. Y'all talking about Rose Bowl? How many championship, national championship he won? Y'all talking about that. Because when you make your team better around you, and don't tell me, oh, but they got all the recruiting. It doesn't matter. Because Ohio State's always in there. Oregon's not. Oregon had players. Doesn't have uh, the best conference. And they don't even have the third or fourth best conference. And he still couldn't get into the, the playoffs. Fact. So, again... Know what y'all talking about. Y'all want to comment, fine, do it. But I'm telling you, I know it. I've seen it. I've been around it. I played football before. I know how this thing, this thing works. I know how a locker room thinks. And you don't see Justin Herbert's teammates is around them. You don't see that. When Tua has a mistake or whatever it is, you see all his teammates right there with him. Because the belief is bigger. Now, I'll tell you, yes, that loss to Denver hurts. But y'all was just ready to bounce on Tua. I knew it. I called it. On Sunday, Sunday's game, end of Sunday's game, I did a, uh, a feed, a video. I told all the fans, they're going to jump on us. But I love it. Because the more heat you bring, this kid is going to shine, overshine everybody. I've been saying it, and I believe it. And I'm not the one to pump up players. I'm not the one to buy jerseys. I'm not. This kid made me buy a jersey. The belief that this kid has. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all don't see it. Y'all call me blind? I see a lot of stuff. And I see it in this kid. I don't see it in Justin Herbert. I just don't. When you're a great player, you left everybody around you. You do it. Tom Brady didn't have great defense didn't have great defense, but he left everybody behind. Left everybody. Didn't have those defense when he was younger. He had pretty decent, but sometimes those defense didn't, didn't show up. Brady took him in bad games. Receiver dropped passing, and then he still brought him back. Drew, Drew Brees and New Orleans didn't have de a defense for years. He found a way to win. Pay Manny. They have great defenses when he, he played. He found a way to win. So y'all want to make excuses. For Justin Herbert, y'all can. Y'all can make all the excuses. Why he's not winning. He doesn't have a great defense, kicking game, whatever. But you still find a way to win. Oh, he lost by one point. It doesn't matter if you lose by one. You lost. And that's on you. It doesn't go on the defense's record. It doesn't go a special team. That's on you, bro. You didn't do what you had to do 
for the whole entire game. Because it doesn't come down to one play. And that's what y'all forgetting. It doesn't come down to one play. It comes down to a lot of plays that he didn't make. Tua, before the Denver game, he was great on third down conversion. Look at the set. Maybe Joe, um, Justin Herbert is not a great on third down conversions. Just don't look at the numbers that he's putting up. Look at why your team is not winning. And then y'all could talk to me. Because they ain't bad defense. Because I guarantee you, defense stopped them a couple of times to give them the ball. And they, and they was winning the games. Because I don't think the whole damn game, those um, those offense was scoring on your defense. Y'all making excuses. Stop making excuses for what they're not winning. And look at it deeply. Why, why are we not winning? If he's putting up these numbers. Because he's putting up numbers. And y'all not winning. So y'all got to look back and say, why Why is my team not winning? Go back. If y'all if fans are LA Chargers, right? If y'all fans are LA Chargers, right? Go back and look at all y'all games. Why y'all didn't win? And don't go one play. Look, if they, did he convert in third downs when he needed to? Did the defense make that stop? Why he didn't score in this play? Cause, and don't come back Oh it was a bad coach and Don't come back saying um, The coaching and, and this and that And y'all gotta talk about Oh they don't have a running game We don't have a running game We still beat y'all We don't have elite receivers Percival Williams is out For God knows how long Right So y'all talking out of your boat holes, man. Basically, stop with the excuses. Look at why he's not winning. And to be honest with you, I don't watch LA, the LA games. I don't. Because I could, I could go down and read you the stat and why y'all not winning. And y'all want to break the coaches for not winning? Y'all could do that. That's a better excuse. But to say, but you overcome. In football, you overcome adversity. He has not overcome those adversity. It's fact. It's not nothing. And I don't hate the kid. I don't, I'm not blasting the kid. I'm just saying factually, he doesn't overcome. Tua, unfortunately, didn't have that opportunity. They benched him. I didn't agree with it. If you look back, I didn't agree with it. Because I think you was high pick, you go in there and you win games. I don't care how your stats look. I don't care if you eat up the stats. Because Tannehill w was eating up the, for his two years, was throwing amazing stats. Amazing stats. He was, in one game, Tannehill was 25 for 25. And he still lost that game. Again. That's, that's what when I say... Y'all saying by stats and y'all saying about ridiculous stuff. I don't buy it, dude. Just don't. I'm telling you. Look back on the game tapes and see why your team lost. I could tell you why my team lost. Because I watch all the Dolphin games and I could tell you why my team lost. And I'll tell you right now. My team lost. Ready for this? Not because of the quarterback play. Because they couldn't handle the pressure. They were stunting everywhere. We couldn't run. We didn't know how to handle the stunts. The routes was the, the routes they was running it was no outlet to two them. They didn't have a, a great outlet. The defense couldn't stop the right, the right hand running game, the right side of the running game. 
a scheme or whatever it was, they didn't adjust and that's when we lost the game. That and I'm not saying Tua was not horrible, but he was whatever. He would have got a hundred yards. I believe Tua would have got a hundred yards. But they janked him and, and, and go from there. And that's what it is. If you see the game, the, the when Fitzpatrick got in there, they changed the defense. So again, Tua has seen more different look than Justin Herbert is right now. That's a fact, dude. So, because Denver knew if he sits back there, he's going to eat him up. So, so go back and look at your game team and tell me what, why your team lost. And then talk. Maybe because they didn't complete a third down conversion. Maybe third down and, you know. Because y'all talking about the defense is horrible. They must have had stuff somewhere. They stopped the Dolphins a bunch of times. Could have won. So y'all want to talk about one play. It's not, in football, it's not one play. It's something happened. It could be third down conversion. Y'all not good on third down conversions. Whatever it is, Miami is not penalized. Hard. Miami is at least penalized. Maybe your offensive line moves. Maybe your quarterbacks don't get them set. Whatever the case, look at everything. And then you tell me. Now look at the stats. Because maybe he's behind and he has to do a lot. Because he's been doing a lot. And that's why I'm telling you. If you got to do a lot, that's bad, dude. That's horrible. Because eventually, teams, teams, that's what team wants you to do. Right now, he's been do doing, Justin Herbert been doing some, some crucial um, balls. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Been lucky it has not been picked. So, that's it, guys. That's the video. That's what I'm... Want, want to talk to you about so y'all could hate on this you could hate on me all day y'all could i know y'all gotta write what y'all gotta write and i can't stop it but my opinion i've been watching football all my life i love this sport and I, I see i've seen it for 38 years i've been watching football i love it it's a passion of mine that i love for years i played it and i know what i'm talking about Take it for what it is. Y'all don't believe me? That's fine. But y'all will find out eventually. So guys, thank you again for this video. For watching this video. Thank you again, guys, for the love, support, the energy y'all bring. To all, from, from out of respect, from my haters, to, to my followers, to my assassins. Thank you so much, guys. God bless. I'm out. God bless, guys.